They are driven by a love of history. It's a treasure hunt. And the lure of the unknown. It's like a disease. With a compulsion to scour the countryside for signs. It's not exactly a competition, but um, that is marker number 3,479 for me. That's right, folks. You know these historical signs that pop up in random spots? Well, it turns out they have a little-known cult-like following. So buckle up and brace yourselves for a plaque attack. And you might just learn something along the way. I'm just a marker hunter, that's all. For self-described marker hunter Michael Herrick of Southbury, Connecticut, the search for the undiscovered has brought him to the quiet Berkshire's town of Sheffield. Someone told me about this one, and that's why I had to come out and take a look at it. Sheffield is a New England classic, its colonial history a point of civic pride. But the arrival of the newest historical marker in town a couple of years ago has raised eyebrows, not to mention hackles. The Sheffield Historical Society didn't know anything about it and, of course, was not altogether pleased with it. Catherine Miller is past president of the local historical society. It seems out of character for the community. It's just a blight on the landscape. You see, the 5,000-pound monument commemorates a UFO incident said to have taken place here a half century ago. I think they're going to have to accept the fact that it happened. Kevin Titus is a district judge in nearby Litchfield County. He officially sealed the documents signed by Governor Charlie Baker, verifying the historical significance of this, quote, off-world incident. Isn't that something? The governor signed off to it, and I didn't think the governor would sign anything like that uh, if he didn't believe in what he had. He saw the facts. He came over this way. The facts, kind of as related by the believers, are these. Scores of people in the Sheffield area reported seeing a massive object hovering over town on a September evening in 1969. I used to read about UFO sightings and saying, oh my God, they must have been drunk or on pot or whatever. But Jane Green's skepticism was put to the test that night. She had to pull over on Route 7 in Stockbridge, blinded by an otherworldly light. I cannot, and I will never forget it, even if I get Alzheimer's. It was right there, and it was our eye level. And it was like the size, probably half the size of a, a football field. It was huge, it was metallic, and it had lights. Tom Reed, owner of a modeling agency and the prime mover behind the monument, now lives out of state. But he was nine years old the night he and his family say they saw the giant object over a nearby cornfield. All of a sudden, they looked over around here to their left side, and the so-called UFO was just kind of hovering about over here. The UFO monument has drawn several TV shows to Sheffield, and a feature film is in the works. There has also been an ongoing dispute over whether the marker encroaches on town land. That's one of the oldest covered bridges in Massachusetts, and to have that sort of placed beside it seems slightly out of character. The Sheffield UFO incident may be the first officialized by a governor, but it's not the first to get its own state-sanctioned sign. The state of New Hampshire has chosen to mark the spot in the White Mountains where Betty and Barney Hill claimed they were abducted by aliens in 1961. Every time I saw a marker, I found something that was awesome every day. The Betty and Barney Hill marker is just a few miles from Michael Bruno's home in Bethlehem. It pointed him in a new direction. Every time I came across a marker, all I could think of was, there's got to be a way to find out where they're all at. You know, it's a lot of note taking. Only there wasn't. So Bruno set out to find all 255 New Hampshire state historical markers. The result, Cruising New Hampshire History, a guide to New Hampshire's roadside historical markers. It took two summers and one fall season to get all the markers. Just one problem, the state adds new markers every year, meaning the ending of this tale is happily open-ended. It's never done, and I don't want it to be done because I always like driving around and finding new ones.